disrupting sub protocol overhead. You think? Listen, I know I haven't been here to help much, but all this business stuff takes priority. Hey, it is a tough life being an internet playboy. Sure it is, you know. New suits to buy, new friends to hang with, new hold to run. Hey, guys, come on. Let's get out of here and get something to eat. Let's go. Hey, you. We did it. Sit down, we need to talk. No, listen to me. We did it. I just got off the phone with Anna Simmons. We just secured our second round of funding. Oh, God. How much? $30 million. $30 million! $30 million, people! $30 million! Does that sound like a lot of money? $30 million? Because Digital Dreams is going to sell some to the world! This is a pussy mobile. <laughs> it's a nice car. Are you gonna get it? I don't know. No, of course not. Robert, everything is getting out of hand. What's wrong? Sorry, it's not... It's not your problem, it's Lisa's. I keep calling her, she hangs up on me. Are you guys in a fight? Hey, let's go show Lisa the car. That'll impress her. I just closed on my second round for $30 million. Go to hell, John. Whoa. I don't know. You think she'd be a little more excited than that. their minds. And this is just the beta version. You know Adam from PC Weekly? Yeah. After the launch of Yahoo, he bought 5,000 bucks of stock. That's why today he's not here, he's in the Bahamas. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of Digital Dreams, a man with a vision, a man with a purpose, Mr. John Elias. We're here today to launch a product which is going to change the face of computing history with the convergence of television and computer networking. Who here has all the speed they want? Who's happy with the way things are? Well, today that's all going to change. We've developed software which will dramatically enhance your internet experience. No installation charges, no monthly charges for an expensive high-speed connection, just a one-off purchase an on-demand, high-quality video over the net in real time for life. Lights, please. We've installed our software onto this entry-level PC, which is connected to a remote server using a, a regular modem. Let the demo begin. We have an angel among us. Now, this is real-time streaming. Don't pretend she is Not off the hard drive. You see her dancing among us She's reminding us of who It's okay. It's okay. It's just an operating system error, everybody. I'm just going to reboot. It's all right. Hey, uh, it's okay. Just please, please. Here. Yeah. I, I need some help here. 
In San Francisco, newcomer Digital Dreams was ready to demonstrate its high-speed internet access software when its plans went up in smoke. Literally. Can I get some help? Can I have some help? Experts say the odds of this happening are less than 1 in 76 million. Please. Digital Dream says there is no connection between its software launch and its hardware fire. Nonetheless, young CEO John Elias is likely to be the butt of geek humor for some time to come. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is Tom Walker. Call me, you little asswipe. I'm watching TV. I see my money going up in smoke. John, this is your father. Please call me as soon as you get this message. <laughs> I saw you on TV. Where have you been? Hiding. <laughs> but it's a new day and things are looking up. I just had lunch with Anna. She says that when you're new, any publicity is good publicity. Everyone knows Digital Dreams now. Sets us up for a comeback of monumental proportions. Vic and Kiko needed more guidance from you. Obviously, you are the genius. Our whole company is based on your designs. If you had been there working with them, maybe things would have been different. I don't know. Comdex is in a month. We need to relaunch our product at that convention. It's our best and last chance at this thing. Look. I would like to take control of our strategy and action until then. You need to go back and focus on what you know best, John. That's what I think. Yeah, entrepreneurs, these are people of action, decisive. Even if they take three steps forward, two steps back, they always progress. They don't waste time. Entrepreneurs are people who jump out of planes without a parachute and instead they have a backpack on filled with silkworms and pray that the silkworms are overachievers. Uh, there you are. It's column one. Hello. Hey, Mom. Is it bad? They're right here. Put them over there, please. I'll see them in the morning. I guess you saw me on TV. Yeah. You made kind of a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to know I'm trying to do something good here, not just make a pile of money. Money can be good. You saw my office. We had to let everyone go. And after 30 years, I thought I'd have more. There won't, there won't be a lot to pass on, I'm sorry. I don't care about that. It's getting better. I'll be fine. But you have to get your life on track, John. Maybe you ought to try to get back into Stanford. You know, it'd be good to get some encouragement right now. Hey, when have I ever let you down? I really appreciate your coming. But you need to go home and take care of your life. That'll be the best thing for my health. <laughs> <laughs>